Hello there. Really looking forward to getting this one loose. Um, I've just been looking to see which one I'm going to open. There's nothing in it at all, uh, except I've noticed that both of them, <laughs> whoever put the plastic on the back, the enforcer on the back of the uh, peg hole, needs to go to Specsavers, man. This one's just the same. <laughs> I might take it off in a minute, see if I can. I don't want to do that one, but I think you can take them off and put them back on, but don't want to cause any damage, so I'll try it on this one. This is 299, it's pre Vizsla, and it looks great in the bubble. It looks amazing, so I can't wait to get him open. And I'm also really looking forward to opening VC300. Previously, I wasn't that interested, but I've been watching Ahsoka again. Started at the beginning, I'm quite into it, man. <laughs> I said what I said in my end of year video. I thought it ended meh, averagely, but you know, for what it is, man, it's an interesting ride, so I'm quite looking forward to Getting that one open. Yeah, I love characters like this man. So look at his face as well. I knew his face was good. I've not really looked at the figure since I first it first arrived. I like to wait until I'm ready to open these things, but phew, immediately you can tell this is a brilliant figure. Look at his helmet as well. That's really good. That's a good looking removable helmet. It'll fit him well because he's bald, man. He's got no hair under there, so they don't need to oversize it. But look at that helmet, man. Look at the dark saber as well. That's a different paint uh, application, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong on that, but that paint app looks different from the one Gideon was holding. That looks better. He was awesome. I liked it. He was brave, man. He was a tough guy. He stood up to Darth Maul. He had a warrior's death. Right, let's get him ready. Had I opened this any sooner than now, it probably would have been my figure of the year, and I haven't even set him up, man. He looks great. From Mandalore, man. Oh, look at this. Lovely peg holes in the toe, and I bet you they look good, man. They look deep. They look a bit thin, but they still... I think they could be... Let me just try and get it on this. I'm using that peg stand there. They're a bit chunky, the things on that, but I could use an Ian's display accessory one. See what I mean? They might, they'll try them on this one. Looking good to me, man. I'm loving it. I'm going to show you the car back first. Give you a quick spin from a long shot of him spinning, and then I'm going to go and have a look at this car back. Talk about him. And then show you the figure in close up. This is actually making me want to watch The Clone Wars again. There's a playlist on Disney Plus for Mandalorian specific. I don't know if it's still there or not, but, you know, if you want to learn, know about Pre Vizsla, just look at the Mandalorian playlist on Disney Plus and his episodes will be there. Death Watch. Right. I can't wait to... Now I've got him loose, I can't wait to just... I mean, I still haven't sorted my Mandalorian shelves in my loose room, but guys like him are going to galvanise everything, man. Bring it all together. So there's the lovely Clone Wars emblem, liking the turquoise, the colour for the um, name pill in the back plate. Let's just go close in on this incredible figure. Look at that facial sculpt. Long live three and three quarter inch for Mandalore. Yeah, man. Look at this guy. That beautiful. Oh, man. Had I opened this earlier, I think this probably would have been my figure of the year. I think I said that when I was opening it. Look at that. I, I'm so happy that the Darksaber looks better than the others. I'm pretty sure it was just they had, I think they just had a white edge and it was just a plain black body. But now they've done the bit of electricity there. I love the noise it makes. That like sings, doesn't it? I've put those two blasters straight away into the holsters. On many figures, those thin blasters come out quite easily. I think I'm... the best example is things like Colt, you know, that, that brand of clone. They don't stay in very long if you have them upside down. Let's just... No, I'll, I'll test them later. Car back image. I don't know if that's on Concordia or on Mandalore. 
beautiful that kind of emblem. I like that card back as well. God, I'm acting like I've received this only today. Literally, I get the whole wave and I put them away until I'm ready to open them. And then I look at them in closer detail when I make these videos. <laughs> I probably deliberately do that to keep my review and my interpretation fresh. But um, I'm digging this. Let's have a look at him. Speaking of Vizsla, clan, house Vizsla, whatever. Shea Vizsla, I, I, looking forward to opening her. I'll do that on an only one fans. Look at that figure. And then you've got Paz Vizsla. You've got Pre Vizsla, Paz Vizsla, Shea Vizsla. I love the fact you've got all these like these houses, you know, you've got a house, Kreez, and then you've got uh, Ren, and then this is Vizsla, or Vizsla. What a great figure. I'll put the helmet on, but for now, just soak him in. I'll take him off the spinner shortly. Look at that angle there. God, I can't wait to get a phone with manual focus. Lost it again. Wow. Let's get him off there. What a facial sculpt. Look at that. Now, from what I could see from the early shots of the Django Fett, I know they're completely different characters, but the facial sculpt or the head they chose on the promo shots just did not hook me in. Whereas this guy, they look like they've gone to town, giving him that rugged, individual look. And that's what Django Fett should have give, been given. Yes, he's a clone. He's the template for all of the clones, Tamora Morrison, DNA, whatever you want to call it, but Django always stood out. He looked aged and rugged and battered and weathered. And the head they put on that one I've, one we saw in the promos just looked like any old bloody clone, man. And I think they missed a trick. Whereas this guy looks like one man, which he is. Pre Vizsla is just one guy. Now, I think I might need to mount the camera now because I want to... Um, Get the helmet on, so let's just give you a quick up and down here now. I watched Mando season three recently as well. I'm watching Ahsoka, like I said before. I'm really enjoying it. I know I haven't got to the later episodes. I found Ahsoka did this. It got better and better and better and then ended like that. It was like, uh, and then the whole Ray Stevenson thing, him passing away, left a vacuum in my mind, you know, how can they continue without him but um yeah i watched mando season three and i really enjoyed it second time around i think i watched each episode twice when it was first out but i haven't touched it since it came out earlier last year but enjoyed it a lot more except for the lizzo episode i thought that was i didn't like that one there he is with a helmet on how about that man what a great figure this is now, I'll stand by my Andor choice because I loved Andor and it was nice to say I liked that figure because it kind of, I started the year, as I said, just loving my memories of 2022 and how much I loved Andor. But 2023, I'd have to say this is the best figure of all. The, I know we're in 2024 now, but you know what I mean? The figures that were around for that year, I'd say that this is the best I've touched and opened and so technically this is the figure of the year for 2024 so far <laughs> given that given that i've just opened it look at this pose here man. look at that actually he looks good with helmet on it'd be i dare say it'd be good to get two of these man that's an all-round figure that helmet on helmet off he looks awesome except the only bad thing going on right now is the focus of the camera God. 
such a waste of a good head sculpt underneath that helmet because he looks so good with it on that yeah, I actually would be so tempted if I saw another one of this cheap, I'd buy it. One carded and two to rock, man. That's awesome, isn't it? What a great figure. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there. Sorry, I've not talked about any articulation, but come on, man. It's, it's all the same. They're super articulated figures. You can pose them any way you want. And it's the standard articulation of a that's clone he's not a clone but you know what i mean that man sorry mandalorian sculpt whatever so go check out bosk's bounty he's very good at looking at the articulation <laughs> and others ladies and gentlemen what a figure love it i think i'm gonna have this as the thumbnail with him with the helmet on because that way you see the best of both worlds you'll see the the face in the bubble and the helmet on this dude right now thank you for watching that video ladies and gentlemen what a figure 299 previsla this has been only one kenobi only one out <laughs>